This is the plaintiff, Sabrina Carswell Bear. She says the defendants are ex-fiancé and he owes her for a phone bill while they were together but refuses to pay. He's a rude, untrustworthy you-know-what, and she's here suing him for every penny of the $630 he owes her. This is the defendant, Donald Thomas. He says the plaintiff still owes him for utilities in the house they once shared, and she refuses to pay him. As far as the phone goes, he told her she could have it back, but instead, the vindictive woman turned it off on him to get back at him for splitting up with her. As far as he's concerned, it's a wash, and he owes the plaintiff nothing. He's accused of dissing an ex. All parties, please use your radiance. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants were about to get married, but they didn't, and now it's Hatesville. The plaintiff says the defendant still owes her for the phone, but the defendant says she's pissed because he broke up with her. It's the case of a super thin line between love and hate. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Sabrina Carswell Bear, you are suing Donald Thomas, your former what? Fiance. Fiance. For $630 that you say he owes you for a phone contract. Uh, tell me what happened. Well, we purchased the phone in July, July, I think it was the 7th, and he promised me to pay the, his portion of the bill. Um, we broke up in October. Who broke up with who? I broke up with, with him. Donald. Okay, and so he had been paying the phone before then? He paid three months. During the time that you're together? Correct. July, he paid August, September, and October. You guys break up, and then what happens? No more payments. For Did he pay any payments after you broke up? No. No. At no, all? You, at all. So how long before you turn off the phones? Because you're not going to have him racking up bills and not paying. Um, I text him and I also emailed him asking, are you going to make some arrangements on paying the bill? Um, he said, for yourself. I'm like, okay. And so we, we went back and forth. And, you know, I'm like, it's not fair. You still have the phone. And, and, and you're not helping pay, pay this bill. And then after that discussion that you had with him, you turned off the phone? Uh, the phone was turned off, um, I would say, the end of uh, October. Because I was giving him a chance, you know? To pay. And he to never pay. paid. And, he never and is paid. there any more discussion after that series of texts that day or no? Uh, yeah, I emailed him again. Uh, are you going to pay for the phone? And then he's like... Um, Pretty much, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not. I'm not going to pay anything. Okay, I need to see the text. But what's going on? How you doing? Um, okay, so it didn't kind of go down that way. I got the phones for her and myself um, while we were together. I was paying the phones. All right. Um, she kept calling me. Well, actually, she what she did was taking taking the phone and forwarding my calls to her phone to find out who was calling me. I had guys calling me from at work. Because I'm an electrician and I got, I'm running a crew. The guys are in the building trying to call me and they're getting her number. I'm like, Sabrina, let go of my phone. Let go of my phone. You know, this is unnecessary. So Did she think you were cheating on her? Is that yes. what? Yes. She thought were I you? was cheating with my kid's mom. Were you? No. Not at all. As a matter of fact. Did you get any calls from the kid's mom? Uh, I did. I spoke to her on the phone. Um, she called, trying to get in touch with him. But if you see the bill, he talked to her more than he talked to me. Oh, okay. So you did forward his number to your number. I did. Okay. okay. See, getting a phone on someone else's account comes with a little bit of a price tag, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, you better be squeaky clean. All right. If, uh... <laughs> so why can't people break up amicably? Um, well, the thing is, you know... With a long relationship, well, it depends on how long it's been. Um, Does it really? I mean, why why is there so much anger when people break up? There's just so much investment, you know, in the relationship and uh, trust. So, you know, I mean, it, well, it depends on how you broke up. You know, I've broken up with a girl before and we got back together. You know what I mean? So it just depends on if people are jealous types, if they get jealous easily. I feel like I'm about to hear your life story. <laughs> okay, going inside the courtroom. Did you ever talk to her? And did she say, yeah, there's something going on? Uh, yeah, I talked to her. Um, no, there's nothing going on. But okay, so go on. What so, else do you say? So at any rate, um, Sabrina and I had a, an agreement that I would make sure the rent was paid, she would pay the cable bills, and the light and electric, which came out to about maybe $400 a month. 
That's all she had to take care of and whatever food you bought. All right. Okay. You don't suggest that you paid the October bill, right? Actually, what I did was I subtracted when she left, she left outstanding balance on the electric bill and the cable bill. For which what was months? For September and October. In August, September, and I have, there was an outstanding balance. You didn't pay the whole thing. You paid some of it, but you didn't pay everything. No, no. I so paid you the rent felt, in full. Okay. So then did you communicate by text and tell her, look, we need to work this out because you owe we, me X? We were talking to each other. Listen, Sabrina, you didn't pay this. How did you leave this? And actually, I asked her every month, did you pay the bill? So you're telling her in October when she, you know, when she says you owe me the phone bill, you tell her, well, wait, you ne I just checked and you haven't paid all of August and all of September. Show me the um, utility bills that show that. Well, and then I, is I there any communication? But at this point, you're broken up. Is there any mm -hmm. communication? I want to see the text in October. Rent, get them on your phones. I want to see the text in October so I can get to the truth of what's going on. So this is this is the bill when... I'll, I'll give it to him. Okay. Sure. No, no, he's not making a decision on the case. He's going to give it to me. You, you could make the decision no, on the yeah. case. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. All People yours. always say, so let me explain it to you. <laughs> ah, Douglas, you no. seem like an approachable guy. Way more approachable <laughs> than her. All right, here's the Xfinity bill. How much was the phone bill that he didn't pay in October? It was... Um, 200 I believe about 250 because I am seeing the utility bill the cable bill that a bunch was owed on it um, I, I paid that bill that be, when I left your honor I I told him before I left and he knows it that I that he did not have to pay that bill for October because of the situation with the those two bills I don't know what you're saying there's money owed on the cable. It's going to get cut off unless it's paid. There was $337.15. Are you saying you paid that in October? I paid, I paid part, of, part of those bills, and I told him, you don't have to give me any money. Right, but you are telling him to give you money, and those are in his name. Do you understand what his defense is? His defense is you owe him money on the cable bill and some other bill? Yes, and, and I don't even have those bills. I just took care of them, and I, I don't really even have them. I wasn't okay. even really worried so about it. So if you're supposed to pay the cable bill, mm -hmm. I see that on October 4th, which is a bill that comes in, the billing date is October 4th. I'm going to mm -hmm. assume it comes in three or four days after that. It's due October 27th. There is a total amount for the cable bill of $337.15, which is more than the 250 you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. So I want to see the text between the two of you from that time period and whether he, is that what you tell her? Hey, you owe me for the utility yes, bill? Yes, absolutely. Do you say it by text? Uh, we, I guess. You know, we, we you were don't talking, know. we were texting. You know, I, I don't keep up with all oh, that Oh, there's stuff. a lot of text and stuff. <laughs> yes. that, well, this is, appears this is once you guys broke up. You see me calling you. Stop acting like this. What, because you kept calling her and she wouldn't answer? No, she was calling me, like, 40 going north, like, I'm no, like, no. I don't want to argue. You're texting with... her. Then she says, October 10th, I need you to call me now. And then October 16th, you can turn this phone off. I don't care. That way this will be done. Goodbye, Sabrina. I have no more conversations with you. Oh, so she didn't turn the phone off on you. You told her, go ahead and do it. Like, yes, you didn't even she, care. Because she kept well, taking the Well, how do you think that it's going to come off? Well, then how do you think this is going to work out? There's a cost to turning the phone off. You wanted it. The relate. You want this to be done. Go ahead. Turn the phone off. I don't care. So you can't argue to me, oh, I shouldn't have to pay the 600 I didn't know she was going to turn off the phone. She owed me money. I shouldn't have had to pay. Well, the fact of the matter is I didn't have control over the phone. At any time she wanted to, she was taking the phone and switching it over in to, to call forwarding my calls to her phone to figure out who in the heck was calling me. Let my phone go. You is cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, on the 17th, she ignores you. And the 17th, she tells you, I need the money for the phone bill. It's due on the 20th. And you say, and this is what I was looking for. I don't know you nothing on that. I just paid last month's cable bill, which you didn't pay. They cut my cable off yesterday, shaking my head, $159.62. To which you answer, I have nothing to do with that. I need the money. That's all I'm saying. But you do have something to do with that because you know that was your obligation. You were supposed to be paying the cable. You sound stupid, Sabrina. You just said you had the phone bill because you didn't pay last month. I'm not giving you a penny on that bill. Now, next month, I got it. Yes. Why isn't he right? I don't blame you for canceling the phone if you don't want anything else to do with him. You know what? But why does he have? In other words, here's how it works. He has an obligation to pay the phone bill every month. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, but you also have an obligation and his defense to paying the phone bill that month is that he had to pay off all the other obligations that you weren't paying. And so and he actually tells you that he tells you, I'm not going to pay this month because you owe me money on all these other months that you weren't paying in full. And then you're acknowledging that and you're saying, all I'm saying is I need your money now. <laughs> and if not, I'm going to cancel the phone. And he says, OK, go, you know, go ahead and cancel the phone if that's what you want to do. Why isn't he right? Well, I, I, I paid the month that, that for that bill for October, so I didn't bother. Just prove to me that you paid the a cable bill for October. Can no, you prove the, I paid the phone bill. So he was left with those two bills. I told Donald I would pay the phone bill for October, and you know that. No, okay. don't talk to him. Talk to me. Uh, I that he would the, pay the phone bill for October. October, and he took care of those two bills that were left. And okay. so I left it like that, and then the next couple of what, months- that You would take care of October, and then what happened? Then he didn't pay November? And the phone was still around in November? Yeah. Who well, made the, how did you guys make the decision to turn off the phone service? Well, Your Honor, he never made effort to pay okay. the bill. When did you turn off the phone service? The phone service went off, I believe it was the end of October, beginning right. of November. Right. Yes. Which would be the month that he's asking for a set off. Right. 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 Which would be a month he doesn't owe you because you owe him. Right. So that's where the set off is. Right. So why does he have to, sometimes we do things that are good, that are good for our psyche, mm -hmm. like just not having to look at it, you know, the phone. And, but if in fact you owed money for the October bill, you didn't even wait until November to shut the phone off to see if he's going to pay November. You see what I'm saying? Well, he kept going back to saying that um, I'm going to pay, you know, geez, give me a break. You know? There's nowhere in October that he says I'm going to pay. He says, I don't owe you October because you left me with all of the bills for the mm -hmm. cable. And right. your answer to that isn't I paid the cable. Your answer to that is. All I know is you owe me money for a phone bill. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So if you're suggesting to me, which I don't think you're very sure about this, that you paid the cable bill any time in October, please prove it. No, I, yeah, I didn't. didn't. I, right. No. He got stuck with the cable bill that has months before, which was your obligation. My verdict in this case is for the defendant. All right, hold mm -hmm. on. Well, things did not work out for the plaintiff. How do you feel about this? It's okay, you know. Well, he was just waving on. the phone at you, you know. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, you tried. Thank you very much. Right. You must sign a few documents out there. Mr. Th Thomas? Hey, how you doing, you, you seem happy. I'm not mad. Yeah. You come out with some crazy little thing, like <laughs> she was texting you like... 40 going north. Yeah. What, what is that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, she, was, she just kept texting me over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm all like, right. you know, like, okay, stop. We can just talk. Okay. You know? yeah. It's all over now? Yes, it's over, I guess. Okay, yes. I guess it is. All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right. Didn't work out for you. All right. Harvey? Okay, I, look, when you move in with somebody, you got to establish ground rules, and especially financial ground rules, on who's paying for what. And honestly, it is a good idea, at least for the first period of time, to keep records of who's paying what.